everybody. This week's video is a little different. Instead of a house tour, I thought I'd give you a boat tour, a tour of our boat. You see, we decided at the end of the season to put it on the market. Uh, and we lived on the boat this summer, so it got a little messy with our personal items. So I thought this video would be relevant for my real estate channel because I tell my clients the same four things. Uh, very important prior to listing your home, declutter, clean, inspect, and then make repairs. So our boat is for sale and we did exactly that. We decluttered, we uh, removed all our personal items, we cleaned the boat really good, uh, we inspected it, and Rich is making all the repairs. All right, let's go check out the boat. The boat is ready for two showings today. I'm often asked, what's it like living on a boat? Um, it's, it's wonderful. Sunset every night. We love it. Of course, when you live on a boat, it can get rather messy, especially if you're living full-time on a boat. So uh, up until this point, I never took any video. So I'm gonna show you our boat now that it's nice and clean um, and show ready. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, this is a Fontaine Peugeot, Maryland 37. And that means it's 37 feet long. The beam is 17 and a half, and the draft is four feet. We have a flybridge and an inside helm, so if the weather's bad, you can get out of the elements. Newly installed is marine mat uh, flooring, which helps keep the boat a little cleaner. At the uh, bow of the boat, you have a, a table that's currently in the fold-down position. Inside, you have the kitchen to the left. And the um, dining table and booth to the right. Comfortably um, seating six people, you could... Looks like you can squeeze a little more in in, in uh, the parlor here, but uh, comfortably, I would say four to six people. The little refrigerator here um, is built in. You've got two sinks and a draining board. Nice large window to enjoy the views while you're doing the dishes. It's an electric stove top the convection oven, lots of cabinet space, we added this refrigerator because we lived on the boat and um, you know for traveling it can be removed. What was here before was just a small cabinet that uh, you could use as a seat. The inside helm is right here, hidden by this big box. We are installing a new air conditioning unit. There's all the controls. Okay. We'll head down to the master suite, which is on the port side. Full-size bed, reading lights, three windows in this bedroom. Two closets, one with shelves, and one with hangers. And then your head. We added the uh, plexiglass to the shower. to the starboard side, which has two bedrooms and a shared bathroom. Another full-size bed. Three windows in this room. And one hanging closet. 
actually it's a combo. There's a shelf and a hanging closet at the bottom. The shared bathroom. And the smaller of the three bedrooms. This bedroom also has a closet. Uh, this is the smaller of the two bathrooms, but you can, um, you know, certainly pull this out and take a shower if you'd like. But we, it's just the two of us, so we always use the master bathroom and our guests, um, our stayover guests will, you know, either use our bathroom or use the marina bathroom. So there you go. Some more cabinets over here. where I would do my computer work. And of course we had a printer on board uh, when we weren't traveling. And it's nice and bright, of course, with the catamaran. You feel nice, nice and high and you've got all these wraparound windows. So let's go up and see the flybridge. First mate chair, seating in the back with another little table. There are Yanmar engines, each with about 3,000 miles on them. Go ahead. Go to the front of the boat. Another nice feature um, that we loved about this boat is the walk around the railing. Lockers up here. nice seats at the front of the catamaran. Probably the favorite uh, seats when we're cruising. Uh, we also added the propane grill to the back, which you can remove when you're traveling. There you go, there's our boat. She's for sale, $160,000. If you need more information, just leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching and wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. See you next time, bye-bye.